I look towards Cheryl for some support. I'm trying to help Peter. She said, I'm on your side remember. She held my hand and gave it a reassuring squeeze before turning to Mother. Mother. Do you mind if I speak to Peter alone in his room? Mother nodded and Cheryl led me upstairs, reminding me to bring the carrier bag with me. She sat herself on the edge of my bed and beckoned me to sit next to her. I smoothed my skirt over my knees as I sat a day. What's up? She asked, holding my hand. I paused momentarily before replying. Last night you said you'd have a talk with mother about having to dress like a girl. And. And then you get me all this. Yes, and I did have a talk with mother. I explained how ridiculous you feel looking like a boy and dressing like a girl so mother agreed that you should be able to make a bit more effort to look like a girl. But that's not what I meant. I said. I just meant I looked and felt stupid having to wear your old clothes all the time. Yes Pete, I know that I really do. She squeezed my hand to reinforce her understanding. But the fact of the matter is mother has made her mind up and you are subject to her rules until that time. I nodded. So. Cheryl continued, I talked mother into getting you something more grown up for school and some of your own underwear. It can't be nice wearing my old knickers all the time. She added. So now I'm wearing my very own knickers. I snapped sarcastically. And whose idea was the bra? Yours or mother's? I'm only trying to help Peter. Cheryl snapped back. And yes, the bras were my idea. I figured you'd look less like a boy in a dress with a bit of shape. But I am a boy in a dress. I insisted. Nothing is going to change that. I know Pete. She replied calmly, it's just. I think you should try to enjoy it rather than fight it all the time. It's not like anybody but me and mother are going to see you is it? You, mother and granny. I added. Yes, and granny occasionally. Cheryl agreed, look, we've bought you some really nice underwear and a new school uniform which. Cheryl began empty the carrier bag. You must admit is far better than what you have been wearing. I suppose. I moaned quietly. And if you're going to wear a strappy top you really do need some shape. Cheryl said as she picked up the bra, here look, it's gel filled. She explained, passing it to me. This is so weird. I said as I inspected the gel padding in each bra cup. I don't want to wear a bra. Come on, she said calmly. At least give it a try, you'll get used to it. I nodded, it's not like I have much choice. I said quietly as I picked up the bra. I'll help you. She said, taking the bra from me. They can be a struggle to get on at first. She added. I removed my top and Cheryl instructed me how to put on the bra. Once it was on I made sure it was straight and in more or less the right position. I looked up at Cheryl for approval. She adjusted the straps a bit before saying, perfect, with a smile, before passing me my top. I pulled it on and instantly noticed how much more like a girl I looked, and felt. How does that feel? She asked. Okay I suppose. I moaned as I glanced in the mirror, but now I look like a girl. I added as I felt my new shape. Well that's the idea. She said with a knowing smile, pushing my hair away from my eyes. And once your hair has grown out a bit you'll probably look quite pretty. But I don't want to look pretty. I sulked. I know, she said. You want to look gorgeous. She added with a grin. I do not. I protested. Cheryl laughed at my protest before calming herself with a deep breath. Sorry. Thank you. I replied as I returned my attention to the mirror. This is too weird. Just try to enjoy it. Said Cheryl to my reflection. I used to love trying different clothes on when I was your age. She added as she tousled my lank hair. And a couple of months your hair will be long enough to do something with. Yeah and then you can get my ears pierced and you'll have really turned me into a girl. I snapped. 
Oh, calm down. Cheryl sighed, I'm only saying it might be nice when your hair is a bit longer. Sorry. I said calmly.